Area groups are taking aim at teens and smoking, and they say there are several reasons for concern. In Lynn County alone, 8% of 11th grade students say they smoke cigarettes, 7% smoke cigars, and 5% use smokeless tobacco like chew. But as Fox 28 News reporter Jason Hackett tells us, new challenges might make it difficult to bring those numbers down. Jason? Yeah, it seems like every day parents have something new to deal with. Now corridor health experts are trying to arm parents with knowledge about nicotine and tobacco. And we're not talking about your father's cigarettes. It may look like candy, bubble gum, or even energy drinks, but look closer. I guess some are naive, like... I guess me, <laughs> that don't know that it's out there. Health officials say this is the changing face of nicotine and tobacco. There are a lot of new nicotine uh, containing products and tobacco products that didn't exist even 10 years ago. That's why Jones and groups like rural communities rising above the influence are trying to stay one step ahead. The area Substance Abuse Council is also trying to get the word out as these products make their way into smaller communities, like here in Lisbon. These guys have jumped in popularity. Some products are twists on traditional cigars and cigarettes. They can put a bead in there that offers some flavor. So that has changed. But others provide a more subtle and secretive nicotine fix. They're putting it inside their socks, putting their sock on, putting it between their toes. The problem, experts say, is that not a lot of research has been done on this stuff. A lot of these products are so new, we don't know what the long-term health effects are because there hasn't been enough time to collect that data. From e-cigarettes to absorbable nicotine to modern-day snuff powder, parents say it's all a bit overwhelming. I claim to be a know-it-all, but apparently I don't know enough that I should know. But they understand it ultimately falls to them to keep up with the trends and keep their kids clean. I would sit them down and talk to them about it, and then I'd probably inform the school about it, too. Just another challenge in raising the modern-day teenager. Now, several schools, including the Linmar and Cedar Rapids School District, have adopted nicotine-free policies. Many health experts fear that by picking up a nicotine habit now, teens may move on to cigarettes in the future. In the studio, Jason Hackett.